Time now for our fifth point. The race for Charleston County Sheriff is shaping up to be a crowded one. With several candidates having filed to run and more expected to add their name to that ballot. This week I had a chance to sit down with some of the candidates, including former Mount Pleasant Police Chief Carl Ritchie, who says he's hoping his message will resonate with Charleston County voters. You know, I want to bring strong leadership mm -hmm. um, back to Charleston County Sheriff's Office. I want to restore um, the faith, first of all, of our first line deputies. Um, there's some morale issues. Uh, there, there's some staffing issues that need to be addressed, need to be handled. Um, if we address those, we can obviously um, provide better law enforcement services to, especially unincorporated areas of Charleston County. You know, as you mm -hmm. understand, places like Mount Pleasant, Charleston City, North Charleston, all Palms, and those different agencies all police within Charleston County, and there's still right. those unincorporated areas. So I want to make sure those areas that are being served to their full capacity and the, the, the folks that live out there can see and know their deputies and can address those issues while still supporting all the municipalities as Charleston County has traditionally done. Richie says some of his strongest concerns at the sheriff's office include addressing morale and hiring more deputies to fully staff the office and the jail. I get concerned about um, deputies being tired. If there's not enough staffing on the road, are they having to work forced overtime? Are they working extra shifts? I'm hearing that's happening in the jail for sure. And what, where, what mistakes are being made? So um, first line supervision is very, very important. And that's something I want to look at very closely uh, when I get to the sheriff's office. Um, if there's an overabundance of executive staff sitting in an office, I don't need that. We need folks on the road serving our constituents in the county. Richie believes his longstanding law enforcement background in the Charleston area makes him uniquely equipped to take on the role as Charleston County Sheriff. I have served my nation, you know, as a military police officer. Then again, um, as an OSI agent right here at Charleston Air Base, worked with Sheriff Cannon, was my commander. So um, he and I have had a close working relationship. I think you've already seen he has endorsed me, mm -hmm. uh, come up publicly, endorsed me. I've got a lot of trust and support throughout the community that I have developed over the years. And that's all of Charleston County citizens, not one side or the other. Um, I've got strong connections with our elected officials. So on day one, when I take office, I will be able to make an immediate positive impact because I don't have to start developing relationships. And Richie believes some of his biggest strengths to appeal to voters lie in the connections he's been able to establish across Charleston County. Something he says has helped him countless times during his more than three decades in law enforcement including in the aftermath of George Floyd's in custody death in the turmoil that followed. And this is where I was tested as a leader, where a command staff member from another agency has said, give them the bridge. And I got on the radio immediately and told my staff, you will not give up that bridge. You hold where you are. And we did. If we had not, and I had not done my job that night, if I had not had the courage to be a leader, Coma Boulevard would have easily been King Street. Fast forward a little while later on King Street, when my officers were being attacked, my vehicles were being destroyed, mm -hmm. I called my guys and made the decision that they would start clearing the streets and protecting life and property, and we did. And I think that helped change the tide. Tough decision to make, yeah. wasn't my jurisdiction, but we had a mutual aid agreement. And at that point though, it was now time to protect life. And that's exactly what I did and my men and women did. And I can tell you at three o'clock that morning, that next morning we were all back at headquarters debriefing, they were tired. I saw a lot of pride in their, eye, in their eyes, in their faces, tired. And they knew their chief was standing right there with them, like their sheriff will be standing right there with them. And I will have made that, that pledge to all of Charleston County. I will never, ever let any part of Charleston County not be protected, ever. And of course, we've invited all of the Charleston County Sheriff candidates onto the show to talk about their platforms, and you'll hear more from each one of them in the coming weeks.